there. We appreciate it, uh, Zareen. Time for our Smart Money Now. Let's check in with our Fox 40 financial analyst, Keith Springer. And I think, we, Keith, well, look, we have you safely ensconced in your office now. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I am. I'm finally safe and sound in my own office. Well, we miss you on the red couch, but you look very comfy there. What's, go <laughs> what's going on? Uh, you know, last week was a mostly bummer week uh, as we looked at this week ahead. What are we expecting? Well, uh, today was a big day because we had retail sales come in better than expected, and that's important because the consumer spending accounts for 70% of the economy. So if we can get consumer spending again, maybe we'll get a little push in the economy, and that's what we're all hoping for. Retail sales are up 1.1% this morning, should push the stock market higher today. Even nicer, last month was revised up to 1.2, so people are spending. Maybe they're feeling better about lower jobless numbers or just uh, better prospects, or maybe they're just tired of not spending money. I don't know, Paul, but they're out there spending. Well, good. You know, I know the uh, retail numbers, those just came out like 13 minutes ago, so you're right on top of that. Great. I, I hear there's also manufacturing uh, information we either are getting or expecting today. Is that right? Yeah, they're gonna, it's going to come out a little bit later. Today, the, re the big number with retail sales, and what we're in the middle of right now is earnings. We're really looking for earnings. Uh, you know, last week we had some financial companies. Today, Citigroup earnings were pretty good. We've got Google's this Thursday, I believe, and Apple's not till next Thursday. Earnings is what's going to drive this market because that's what's going to tell us, are these companies making money? They, we know people are spending money, but are the companies making a profit? Can they turn a profit, or are they just increasing their sales? So that's really what we're going to see in the finance world. That's what we want to see in the economy and the markets right now. Um, earnings is where the, all the attention of investors at the moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, one last, just kind of quick question. We've been talking about the uh, debate tomorrow night, and, you know, this, this race is so very close. It's anybody's call. Um, does it matter so much which way the race falls or, or just the fact that there will be a decision? Does the market kind of hold its breath during these months leading up to the election? That's a great question. They do hold its breath because right now what you're, all you get is negative talk. You have both sides telling you how bad the world is, and it wears you down. I think there's going to be a breath of uh, fresh air once the election's over. People are, I think the market goes up personally that because the people are just tired of hearing these two guys, you know, scream back and forth. You've got to remember, everybody thinks the market does better in a Republican uh, president, but the market typically does better when Democrats go up. It's really funny. I, I have clients who say, you know, I always vote Republican, but I always make my money during the Democrats. So it doesn't always go the way everybody thinks it should. I see. I like it when the financial guy wears a green tie, by the way. That looks good on you uh, there, Keith. <laughs> These are my colors. Bring your financial colors. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. We'll talk to you again later in the morning. If you Thanks have any for questions that. for uh, Mr. Springer, you can send it to uh, money at fox40.com. Or you can call him up and ask him a question yourself. Call 916-925-8900. Uh, I'm sure he'd be happy to work with you. And now for your commute to work, let's check in with Sheldon Orvis.